Well, let's now turn our attention outside Nigeria. Gabon's coup leader is to be sworn in as transitional president today, taking control for an unspecified period of time after overthrowing the country's 55-year-old Bongo dynasty. General Bryson Goema led last Wednesday's coup against President Ali Bongo shortly after the election result was announced. The coup leader said they had dissolved the nation's institutions, cancelled the election results, and closed the borders, which was later reopened. Many countries have not acknowledged General Aligui as Gabon's legitimate leader, and he faces pressure to spell out his plans for restoring civilian rule. Let's talk more on the situation in Gabon. Melvin AJ is Executive Director, Global Peace and Life Rescue Initiative. He joins us live from JOS. Thank you for joining us on TVC News. At one, well, uh, General uh, uh, Nguema is to be sworn in today as transitional president. And that's to be for an unspecified period. Where does this leave the Gabonese people? Good afternoon, TBC. Good afternoon, Nigeria. I personally would not congratulate General Nguema because of the manner at which he came into power. It is illegality, and it could, it could be anywhere in Africa or anywhere in the world should not be accepted in this democratic era. However, I think coup in Africa have become necessary because of the modus of operandi of African leaders. African leaders have become so, so terrible that we have persistent insecurity in Africa, poverty, bad governance, corruption, fraudulent electoral process in Africa. And until these issues are addressed, we will continue to have this issue of coup. So for me, I think uh, the government is should be patient. They, they should give in time. They should, they should give in time. So Allah him spell is quick plans of getting the country back to civil rule. Mm. Mr. Reja, you mentioned that coups have become necessary in Africa uh, as a result of you know, some, some points you outlined, but does that justify uh, the coming into power of uh, the military? It doesn't really justify, but I, I mean when it becomes a necessity, it's it, it, it now a necessity because of the character of some of our African leaders. The safe, tight attitude of some of these Francophone countries is alarming. And the level of people's patience cannot be emphasized. People are not actually patient this time, this period of time. So if we must avert coup completely in Africa, we must, they must take a cue from Nigeria. Nigeria have a very clear, fed out period where a president can be in power. No Nigerian president will want to exceed eight years. This is what we're talking about. They need to have a, a, a clear uh, electoral plan. They need to have a clear plans at which to return civilian back to power. This is an area of where one person will be in power for 20 something years. 30, 30 something years for something is unacceptable. People are generally and naturally going to revolt. However, who cannot be justified? Who is, who is not advisable in any part of the world? Well, as it is, this might just be a tough time for ECOWAS, the AU, and other authorities that take decisions in this matter. Because on one hand, there are people who are supporting this action as a result of uh, uh, what they have experienced over time. Uh, the fact that one family has remained in power for you know, quite a lot of time. But then the people will bear the brunt if actions such as... Uh, uh, you know, are taken by government around ECOWAS and, and the likes of them. And especially in this case that this man is going to be in power for a period of time that is not stated. What actions do you think ECOWAS and the AU should at this critical time take? I think ECOWAS and AU should step in quickly to ensure that his, ten, his action, his, his period, the period of which he's going to stay in power is tenured. Is to, for, stay, for him to stay uh, unlimited is actually unacceptable. Nobody should allow that to happen. ECOWAS and EU, in fact, the UN should also come in to ensure that his tenor, his, 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 his period of stay is tenor so that they could have a clear cut of when to return power back to the, the, the civilian in, in Gabon. You cannot, if you are coming to restore what, uh, what have been battered, if you are coming to, to restore security, if you are coming to, to, to correct the bad governance, you don't come and add another bad governance by staying in power for, for, for how long? The ECOWAS and uh, EU must come in very, very clearly to make to ensure that he has a clear cut at which of which time he's going to leave. They shouldn't allow him to stay power perpetually because if you give him room, he's going to stay for another 30 years. Everybody in this part of the world is thirsty for power and may want to continue to stay in power perpetually. However, there should be a clear, clear time for him to stay in power and over to civilian rule and leave that place.
All right. As, as it is now, we know that some countries have taken swift action. Talk about Cameroon changing the formation of the guards and all of that. But uh, uh, does that significantly address the issues that citizens are raising and which have given rise to uh, military takeover in uh, some other countries in recent time? No, it does not really change the, the, the issue. It's like that of Cameroon. I think, I think it's very sad. I'm sure the president himself knows, within his conscience, he knows that he's doing the wrong thing. How can you stay in power for close to, close to 40 years? Or oh, crying out loud, what are you doing? At that age, at the age of 90-something? So even if you bring his cousins, if you bring his, 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 his uncles, if you bring his children to come and man the security guard, who in Nigeria, in, 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 sorry, in, Cam in Cameroon, is actually inevitable. I am, I'm sure I'm not a prophet of doom, but from what is happening in this part of the world now, I see Africa rising again. The only country that may be spare, I'm telling you in Africa, it's likely going to be Nigeria, where we have a clear democratic process, where we have presidents that have actually respected our ACA 10 according to our constitution. And Mr. Rejo, we understand oh, that... Oh, okay, sorry to quickly butt in. In Gabon, we understand that Bryson Goema, the leader of uh, the country's military junta, has now been sworn in as the nation's interim president. So already it has taken shape. Would you well, react to I that? I don't want to congratulate him because I don't, I don't want to congratulate him, but I want, I, want to, I want to just urge him. I, I won't congratulate him because anybody that comes in through power, uh, through, through, uh, power through coup, I think is uh, actually unacceptable for me. So I'm not going to let him. However, my question to him is that he should not go the way of Ali Bongo. He should just quickly prepare transition for the civilian and handover power and get out of the state of power. Power, democrat, the, the, the whole world now is moving to, towards democracy. I do not support any military action. I do not agree with any military action. Melvin AJ is Executive Director, Global Peace and Life Rescue Initiative. Thank you for your time on TV News at One. Thank you very much.